Hey, what up? Z Clan. Clan. Everybody else. How you doing? Welcome to my Fallout 76 Atom Shop notification video, plus the Atom Shop challenge daily challenges that are renewing every day as well. We're going to cover those at the end once we've covered the entire Atom Shop. And the Atom Shop notification for those who are new are the videos that will notify you which items are leaving or some special offers are ending within the next 24 hours. So let's stop wasting time and jump right into it. Alright, so let's navigate to the Atomic Shop. So, today, let's start with the Free States uh, page. So, the Scrap Kits are the only item that is living from this page. Uh, within the next 24 hours, 1,000 atoms for 40 Scrap Kits. I'm not going to go for it. I don't think a lot of people go for it. Because I don't think a lot of people are actually using these Scrap Kits. Because they scrap only junk in... <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's all they do. So... In my case, I usually uh, farm a whole bunch of weapons, armors, and I need to scrap them and not the junk. So, uh, these scrap kits, to be honest, are sort of pointless. <laughs> uh, the remaining free states paints, they are all uh, active until the 29th of October. Yes, sir, they are. I'm just having my patch notes there on the right side. Now, we navigate to the next section, the Riders Return. So, these are the four horsemen. Uh, I'm sort of decided not to go with the black rider because uh, I'm all good with just one paint because I have only one power armor that I actually use and I used to use X01 but I got rid of it because you know the weight and I only I only keep the excavator one so I only use the war rider this one right here this is my favorite rider from all those four if you have any feedback or if you own them all and uh, so on, could you provide some feedback on these power armor skins so that other guys can review your feedback, your comment, and make a decision whether this is something they want to get or not. Personally, I mean, the prices are high. Uh, as I mentioned on the Tuesday video when these, when these riders just returned, it would be great if they have uh, brought them in some sort of a bundle, maybe like, hey, uh, get to get one free or get two free or something like that I don't know but uh, I don't know uh, these things are not leaving and they don't even have a badge on where the when are they leaving the atomic shop so with the war rider let me show you how it looks like on my excavator power armor so here's my power armor this is how it looks like from all sides over here from the back end and uh, if we walk inside that's how I'm gonna look once we're inside. Great, he stuck the fusion core inside a fusion core. <laughs> okay. Man, by the time I was talking, it was night, now it's an entire day. Well, it's good because now we have better lights. So, that's the power armor. But as I said, for me, as who uses the power armor only to, la uh, to farm lead in the lucky hole mine, uh, this is more than enough. Am I gonna redo, redo it? Because I received some comments that you can actually uh, do get extra lead ores if you just have the excavator uh, arms, and that should be enough. So I hope that is correct. And if that is the case, then maybe I'll be able to get the XL1 parts so I can have the jetpack, so I can display the jetpack as well. Because the excavator, I think it doesn't have the jetpack mod, if I'm not mistaken. Or maybe I've missed something. I don't know. But that's how it is. Alright, so the next section, uh, these are the current items that are leaving. The American flag set. So you get three flag options. And this is how they look like. So all three. Here, let me try to zoom in like that. I think it's gonna be better. So what I like about them is that they are animated. I remember the first time we got these, if I'm not mistaken, was the 4th of July. And uh, I got them instantly and I remember being very happy about it. I remember I had my camp uh, by Vastek at that point. It wasn't sort of, it was a sort of a fort camp with a lot of missile lectures <laughs> then we have the American flag wall banner as well and if I'm not mistaken this was given to us on the 4th of July as well 
and this is how it looks like so it's a walled core by the way how does it look like from the back end ah not bad <laughs> All right, so this one you can, if you get it and you buy it, it's in the in the wall decor section. And I forgot to, sh uh, to mention the flags. The flags are in the misc structures. All right, then we got the Freedom Stars neon sign. Uh, these items were bugged sometimes. Then someone told me they might be bugged. I'm not sure if they work right now, but let's check it out. If you put those, they sort of blink. I need to check out if I have enough light budget because I I think I reached my light budget. <laughs> Yeah, so I had to remove one of my signs, but that's how they look like they're back and they're working. So they're blinking, you can turn them on, turn them off, whatever you feel like. And they're located in the light section, and uh, if you see the welcome home sign, just scroll to the right, and you'll find your stars. Alright, then we got the carnivorous plant, and uh, this is how it looks like. Actually, it's a really good, big, good looking plant. <laughs> So here's our plant, this is how it looks like. And it can be found in the build menu on the floor decor section. You should see the uh, mini nook planter. If you scroll, you'll find your carnivorous, carnivorous, carnivorous plant. <laughs> Sorry, I sometimes mispronounce stuff, so I have that in my I am from Ukraine. <laughs> Then we got the shop billboard set. It's actually a good set of billboards, I must say. I got those, I used them a couple of times, but they're like so big. <laughs> but anyway, let me show you how they look. Alright, now let me show you how the billboards look like. So, if you get the set, you get all four of them. This is how they look like. Let me put that thing on. You can build them three straight up. I was trying to put the fourth one in, but the fourth one <laughs> didn't go in. So, that's pretty much how they look like camp you can trust check out the sales baby check out the sales <laughs> there you go and then we have the mothman called effigy so let's take a look at it looks like. and that's how the mothman effigy looks like by the way I did forget to show you where, where you build the billboards so the effigy you can build in the wall decor and the billboards and the misc structures so you will have the blank one first, right? And then you'll have all the four sets over here. All right, next on the menu is Mr. Pepbell's lamp. For the 20% discount will cost us 210 atoms. It's a lamp and I'm not gonna get it. <laughs> well, I, I don't feel it. I feel like maybe there's gonna be a bundle at some point for these lamps or whatever and it's gonna be way cheaper so am I just gonna wait till then at the moment I don't want it then we have the flower aragment set I hope I pronounced that correctly so these are sort of the two options that you get now let's go take a look how they look like alright so here how they look like so here's the first option and there's the second option And you build those in the floor decor section. The first icon that you should see would be this one right here. And then if you scroll, you'll have the other option. Next on the menu is the mini power armor statue. Which really looks cool on the classical columns. They're not on sale at the moment. But I have those if we navigate over here. My sort of guest tent. So we got the mini death claw. And there's the power armor statue, and that's the classical column. Really looks good on it. The classical column also contain like if you have the Easter eggs from the Easter egg event, uh, so they're like looking really nice. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, they're also located in the floor decor section. If you scroll down, you'll see the mini death block, and then you'll see the statue right there. All right, so the next page if we take a look on the vault leaving soon right uh, we have the state of the free bundle which contains I believe all of these down below 
And plus the flamethrower paint minigun is leaving. I don't have those, so let's cover these first since I won't be able to show it to you because I don't own them and I don't plan to get them. So that's how the flamethrower looks like. Then the tactical combat dagger. <laughs> Somebody's about to get stabbed. <laughs> Alright. So here's the bundle. And as we can see, we got the patriotic nuke shine hat over here with a 40% discount, uh, 240 atoms over here in, the, in this corner we got in the picture. So I believe that's the same picture just for this same icon. Then we got the full set, I believe this, uh, what is it called? Rutin Tutin outfit. So I believe this outfit goes straight up with the cowboy hat. Uh, this one I own, so I'll show it to you. Then we got, I think that's the Hutani overalls. And if I'm not mistaken, this is an, no, it's not an underarm. I'm, I don't remember. So I'll, we'll need to check it out. I'll show it to you right now. Uh, and this stupid item right here, I don't even know why the hell they're selling it. I'm actually super curious, how much is it? Like, super curious. How's it called? Star's Headband. Star's Headband. Where are you, Star's Headband? Ooh, ah, there you go. Ah, Star's and Stripes. Headband. 240 atoms. Are you serious? <laughs> no. This thing for 240 atoms? Jesus. Okay. Okay. Uh, the chairs are not gone, so this is another outfit. Well, I'm gonna craft them right now. I'll cover them together. Then we got the dress as well going and and the pit boy skin. So I'm gonna make that. Alright, so let's take a look at them. And that means we're gonna cover all of these items right now that are also leaving uh, within just, just this one bundle. Actually, you know what? Let's just go uh, step by step so I, I don't make a mistake because there's a lot of outfits that are leaving today. Alright, so here you can see the headband. And as I said, it looks silly. I think I got it in a bundle, but as I said, I've never been using this one. <laughs> it really does look silly. And definitely not for 240 atoms, or whatever the price was. I already forgot. Hold on, let me take a look. Yeah, it's too... Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, no, I'm looking at the wrong one. Jesus, man, so many outfits. Headband. Yeah, 240. So definitely, <laughs> I don't know, I wouldn't recommend it. But anyway, it is your call, it's a matter of preference. Alright, so next is the Pip boy and turns out I don't have it, so that means it wasn't in the bundle <laughs> when it was up. So that's how the Pip boy looks like. Looks alright, but not for 320 atoms. <laughs> so then we have these... Okay, let me sh first show you the Rutten Tutten outfit. I'm wearing it right now, by the way, with the cowboy hat. This is the Under Armour, by the way. And then I'll show you the dress. No matter how ridiculous it's going to look on my character. And uh, and and then we're going to cover these overalls. The Patriotic Nuka, Nuka Shine hat, I don't own it, so I will not, I'm not able to show it to you. So that's how it looks like. I have like the, the one we got when we were doing the Nuka Shine event. I worn it only for that event, and that's it. Never been wearing it again. Alright, so let's take a look. Written to tin and the dress, by the way, as well. We'll cover it. Actually, we'll cover all three of them at the same time right now, so I don't have to like jump from one thing to another. So, there you go. That's the Written to tin <laughs> outfit. Alright, then let's get rid of this cowboy hat. I'm not going to be using it. Free states. Okay, that one is so thick. That where's the dress? There's the dress. <laughs> Look at those guns. <laughs> All right. I think that's more than enough. Then if we take it off, that's how the under armor looks like. I had to remove all of my armor so it doesn't show within my armor. So. That's how it looks like. So if we get, get back my jumpsuit. 
upload it to the outfit. Goodbye. Uh, overalls. Yes, goodbye. And this is how it's gonna look with my weird set of armor because I have different s pieces of armor. <laughs> so that's how it looks like. So, it, oh wait, I already removed it. Anyway, it wouldn't look good with this. Definitely will not look good. And let me bring up my favorite bam scrap hat. There it goes. So get rid of it. Why do I even have it? Oh yeah, that's the thing applied into a for the Halloween event. <laughs> All right, and uh, let's navigate back to the atomic shop and see what else do we have. So we got this covered. We got this covered. I already shown you the patriotic nuclear shine hat, and the last one is the pioneer paint. And I'm not gonna get it. I don't even use this gun. I haven't even fired it not even one time. <laughs> so definitely not something I'll be getting, especially for 350. Man, no thank you. Definitely not. Alright, so that's pretty much it for the Atomic Shot. Now let's take a look at the challenges, shall we? The daily challenges. So build floors, walls, or roofs in workshop or camp. Alright, that's really doable, very much. So floors, where are the floors? Floors. Floors, there we go. Floors. Oh man, I don't even have space to build, lol. Actually wait, bam, and then walls, right? It said walls. Two, three, four, oh, there's a wire. Five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Woohoo! Ten atoms, really quick. Alright, let me get rid of this real quick. Alright, so then we need to kill roaches in Toxic Valley. Um, Toxic Valley, for those who do not know where it is, is all this area. So if you just run around, you'll definitely find some cockroaches. Try visiting maybe some actual places with houses. The, those cockroaches should be doing there but I seen some cockroaches right next to this uh, workshop right here that should be around and I'm not gonna do that one it's gonna take long and yeah so I'm gonna miss out on that oops I'm gonna miss out on that one let's go back to the challenges kill a legendary enemy at the fissure site hey the only time I've seen a legendary enemy at the fissure site is this place right here uh, and it was a three-star goal. That's the only ever case scenario I've seen a legendary enemy at the Fizzur site. <laughs> so I'll visit that place and hopefully I'll see my uh, three-star. But as I said, this is the only place where I've seen a three-star before. And so it's not going to be a quick one. And that's going to give you 20 atoms, by the way, which sounds good. Then we got the Vault 94. Complete a mission in any mode, basically, I believe, any difficulty or whatever, I don't know. I'm not a, sp not a s specialist in Vault 94 because I don't go there. It's bugged and it's luggy and maybe I should visit it in a couple in a couple next days. I'm, I'm not sure because last time I've been there was maybe like three weeks ago. Maybe they have fixed something. If, you, if you've been in the vault within the last few days or even maybe today, could you leave some feedback? How is the vault 94 doing? <laughs> uh, afterwards, uh, they level up. So you'll need to level up one time, completing three of these at the same time. So the full, uh, full clown suit. Uh, okay, that's an easy one. If you don't know where to get it, get one. Uh, you can get it here in Freddy's Fierce house. If you walk inside a house, you should have no problem in finding the full set of the clown suit. And uh, what else do we have there? Daily challenges. Level up 70. Uh, if you're level 76 and over, okay. So that's already two. Uh, why? Well, sleepwear. I have no idea what the hell that is. Probably some outfit that I haven't even seen. Level up in workshop while under level 20. Okay, whatever. Level up in caves or mines. Any hey, caves or mines? These are so stupid. Okay. Oh, level up while exploring a nuked region. 
Okay, so maybe the best option would be nuked white springs. <laughs> but I highly doubt you're gonna be running in the cloud soon in that area. <laughs> Cause you're gonna die. <laughs> uh, level up what? Level up while well tuned or well rested. Okay, that's an easy one. So if you play the musical instrument or you sleep in bed, you'll get one of these buffs. I usually do both of them before I go out to adventures because the well rested will give you 5% to XP and this one regen to AP, I think, or additional AP. I don't remember. Basically, you just play the musical instrument until you get like a sort of notification on the left side corner and uh, you, should, you, you should see that you are already tuned up with and rest it. <laughs> level up wielding an axe, okay, level up while being diseased, level up while being engaged in PvP, okay, this one would be doable like in survival mode, but there's no more survival mode, so I guess you're gonna have to trigger some PvP in workshops or be annoying and start shooting people, <laughs> but if they all have pacifist mode, it's gonna be a tough one. <laughs> And level up while being intoxicated. I don't know. I gave up on this stupid event. This is lame, in my personal opinion. Then, uh, in the battle royale, uh, nuclear winter, use six stim packs and you will get a perk card pack. Maybe I should start doing these. I haven't been in one. I don't know. I barely have time. <laughs> And uh, yeah, the workshop is pretty much the easiest one, and I think this is the only one I'm gonna do. Maybe, I, maybe if I'm lucky, I'll visit that place right there, and hopefully, I'll see a, a legendary enemy, so I'll get another 20 atoms. So that's pretty much it for the dailies as well. All right, Z Clan, and everybody else. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it helped you out. Don't forget to leave the like if it did help you out, and you liked the video, or if you didn't like it. I don't know. Uh, let me try to do it this way. Thumbs down. Oh, okay, I can't do it. Thumbs down. <laughs> I guess the game doesn't want to give me thumbs down. <laughs> nah, just kidding, just kidding. So, uh, yeah, leave your comments down below on the items that you've purchased, that you own. Are you happy with them or not? Uh, maybe some good feedback on the ones that you're actually not really happy about. You know, just to sort of warn the guys uh, that that is something you shouldn't be going for. But once again, Adam Shop is like it's a matter of. Uh, preference I would say and same goes for pricing if you like a specific item that I don't like right like for example that headband right for 240 atoms which I find ridiculous somebody might find it not ridiculous and uh, you will spend just because for the fun of it you know <laughs> so I'll keep the pricing and other stuff to like preference <laughs> but yeah better to have all the feedback I gave you mine uh, and uh, yeah thanks all for watching I hope you enjoyed it and uh, leave the comments please in the comments do not use profanity as I do have my block list of words that gets triggered no user sees the comments that contain profanity so please don't do it uh, sometimes I do receive cool comments but with a couple of f-bombs I cannot react to those so have that in mind so I, I read them but I delete them and uh, do not promote third-party websites that sell guns, caps, services, whatever for real money. This is something I do not support. Don't try to sell your stuff on eBay uh, in my comment section because we all going to get banned. <laughs> Don't do it. And uh, this is a sponsorship-free channel thanks to those stupid third-party websites that really made me mad. And I decided, you know what? Goodbye sponsorships. No sponsorships. No matter what the business is or the company is like, why should I accept sponsorships later on when right now or like today or a month ago would have been the best? Where have you been when I was small? You know, that's what I'm going to reply to a, a legit company that's going to send me a sponsorship offer with a decline, of course, because I came to the decision. Let's do it the hard way. And if you're new and you subscribe, welcome to Z Clan. I'm Gamer Z Soul from Ukraine. So, hi from Ukraine, and I'll see you on the next video. By the way, if you want to help my channel grow, please do consider sharing this video somewhere in the media, such as Facebook or Twitter, or recommend me to a friend uh, that you think might gonna enjoy this type of content. And look at my dude, he's suffering from star starvation and dehydration, and that list is just not stopping. <laughs> Alright guys, I gotta feed this dude, and I gotta bounce. <laughs> so y'all have a good morning, day, and night. Whatever you guys like it, I'll see you on the next one.
<laughs> oh man, my baby, my baby sleeping and I'm laughing like crazy. My wife is gonna jump right now and kill me. What's up, meditation, baby? <laughs> no, no magic. I'm actually flying. <laughs> no wires. 